Good afternoon, everyone, and hello. It is Starlight, and I am bringing you another plugin tutorial video. Today's plugin is Light Playtime Rewards. This is probably one of the coolest plugins I've ever come across, let alone thought of to use as a system inside of my server. So, if you guys are looking to reward your players for playing on the server, no matter if it's through um, time or if it's through experience points however you choose to set it up you can you could set it up through Roman numerals you could do tally marks you could do levels 1 through 100 or 1 through 1000 whatever you could possibly come up with whatever kind of video game you want to copy whatever kind of system you want to create this plugin is insanely cool so on my server it is through playtime. So if you spend three hours on the server or if the first 15 minutes you join the server, you won't have a level at all. Then you'll get level zero. Level zero through level one is three hours. Once you've spent three hours on my server, you will have earned yourself one level. Once you get to 10 levels, you will get a ton of rewards, including kits, uh, crate keys, all kinds of stuff. You could set up any command on your server for the plugins that you already have installed so that way you can use this for example um, in the war zone on my server if I wanted to reset um, certain chests so that way they could get certain loot at a certain time I could set it up through the level system it's really cool and unique on my server it's levels 1 through 100 300 hours is total playtime then you prestige as you can see I'm already prestiged on my server and I have a star next to my name you can make that prestige symbol whatever you want as well if you choose to have prestiges on your server you could also not do that and you could go levels 1 through 1000 or vice versa really anything you want to come up with this is a really cool plugin so for example I don't mind changing things for myself um, but if I want to give myself let's say rank I'm already 142 so let me come up and I'll give myself 150 and now you can see I will get a ton of items for just running this plugin <laughs> I should probably give it to myself my inventory is too full to claim the kit but that's cool so it gave me two reward keys and as you see as a boss bar at the top it says I played 447 hours and leveled up this will also broadcast to all the other players on the server too displaying your level your playtime or your experience however you choose to set up the progression maybe you choose to set it up uh, through experience and you said hey this player has the most experience on the server congratulations you've leveled up and it will display this across the entire server now be warned once you set, start setting up this plugin you need to finish setting it up when you start or else you will run into issues later down the road and what I mean by this is if I add in levels 1 through 10 and I just get lazy, let's say I've got stuff I've got to do and I leave and I put this into my server and a player hits level 10 before I finished, let's say, adding in all 100 levels, then you will manually have to give that player a level every single time because it glitches out if they hit that max level. So you need to decide before you start setting up this plugin what is going to be my system, what is going to be the max of my system. Do I want to finish this all in one go? Do I want to save this and wait to put it into my server? But that is what I recommend. I do not re recommend doing this little by little by little. Now, we'll be moving on to the configs and I'll show you how to set up everything there. So now that we are in the config, let's take a look at it. It has been a little while since I have originally had the original config file, so I don't exactly know how many levels come in the stock folder whenever you get this plugin, but everything will be posted below and you could always just copy what I have here on screen. So anyway, starting with level zero. Um, you normally want to leave the display item alone. This doesn't really matter so much in game. It doesn't really do anything that I've noticed. Um, the rank zero right up here at the top is really important rank one this is what you will use if you do like the command like we just did in game where I do like playtime rewards give myself rank one to whatever the hell you know whatever you set it up to be um, you could also set your progression system up differently you know you don't have to go with rank one two three you could go with rank a b c d uh, so that's really up to you and how you choose to set it up so you could also do a description so whenever they unlock that it will uh, put a description underneath that time like achievement unlock welcome to terminus and then you'll you know your first 15 minutes on 
Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and put that playtime needed. For example, this is all in ticks. So 180 is um, the time that they will need in order to achieve that level. You could always leave this zero if you choose to um, use something else. Primarily, I choose to use playtime needed. You could also go to this website and change the reward. So if you want to use experience points, you could do it that way too. But I'm just going to discuss how to do it with time for now um, because that is how I chose to set it up. So uh, with ticks in mind, uh, Minecraft works a little bit different. So uh, 10 is just about 10 minutes and that's all you'll need. Uh, 180, uh, 180 is three hours. So I guess that's minutes. 180 minutes is three hours. So when you go from level zero to level one, they will have to go from 10 to 180 in order to get their first rank. And then they'll get their next achievement committed to the new. This is my first rank of many. Um, and then, so you could also set up the commands that they get every rank. So let's say that you want to give your player, you, you have longer ranks, maybe you don't have so many, maybe you only have 10 ranks, but it takes you a long time to get those ranks. Um, you could set it so that way it only adds and removes prefixes. You also want to set this up, this is important, these prefix commands right here. So I use a plugin called um, Luck Perms in order to edit how my players interact in game. For example, the donor commands, the donor ranks, the normal ranks, however I want to set it up, I use Luck Perms. And you could use any command in game and sequence it here. So for example, slash LP user, and then it's pulling the data matrix, and then meta add prefix. Zero 01. So this is going to add this prefix in front of their member prefix inside of Black Um And then in order, whenever they go from 0 to 1, you're going to want to remove the prefix 0, which is right here, and then you're going to want to add back the prefix 1. So you're basically just subtracting and adding, subtracting and adding, subtracting and adding for each level that they go up. Uh, you want to do this with whatever prefix plugin that you use. Um, and the command that you would use it for, the percent players and add prefix, all that stuff, how it would normally look for you inside the game. Um, and I could also fuck with my players. I could give them one grass block. I could also give them a little bit of experience points. So however you want to set up these levels, it's up to you. And you also want to make sure that you're multiplying correctly. So for me, I used a calculator. So I'm from level 1 to 2, 360. It's pretty simple, 540. But once you get down to, like, for example, rank 171, you're playing with play times in the thousands of, of minutes. So you're making sure that you need to do this correctly. You're taking your time and you're setting it up slowly. So whenever a player reaches level 170, they get the description, been losing my mind for 8 days and 18 hours, playtime needed. And as you can see, that's a lot of playtime. Um, you could also change the notification type, so it doesn't have to be a boss bar. You could use whatever kind of vanilla Minecraft um, announcement tool that you want to. I prefer the boss bar, though, because that's a little bit easier. Uh, and then the notification above the boss bar, this is what it will display to other members and say, hey, this player has leveled up 510 hours. Um, and then it will display that boss bar for other people as well and tell them who it was for. Um, for example, you could also set up crate keys. So for my last plugins video, I talked about Golden Crates, which is an amazing crates plugin. You should probably add to your server if you prefer something like that. You could add commands like this. I could, I have um, ultimate kits. That's one of my other plugins. Uh, you could do slash kit mythical and then percent the player. So whatever reward you want to give, it's a pretty unique plugin. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, if you like it, consider subscribing.